Hey, this is me, Easy Rock. I want to test the limits of the M1 processor on the new MacBook Air. I asked my friend to record 2 minutes of the same 2 raw videos and send them to me. So you could understand it, small video is super compressed LGOP 100 megabits per second directly from the Sony camera which is pure hell for almost any computer, even to simply open and play it. And the big one is from an external recorder, uncompressed, which is around 500 megabits per second bitrate, which it should be much easier to work with since it is uncompressed, laptop won't have to do any extra work. This is very interesting test in my opinion, can Apple's new incredible M1 chip become even more incredible or will go down like any other processor? We'll first check simple playback and color correction, then I'll do some extreme 4K video next to another 4K video in the window up to 9 videos. After I apply as many effects as possible on one video and then we'll see how fast it will render these 2 minutes. In the next video I will compare M1 MacBook Air with 16 inch base model MacBook Pro with the same videos, like, subscribe and let's start. As you can see we have two identical 4K RAW videos. Uncompressed 24GB, compressed 3.5 First let's see playback and quicktime player Ok, 24GB one is perfectly smooth Now let's see heavily compressed one And it is perfectly smooth, which is crazy Now let's see how smooth is editing on the big one By the way we're in a better quality mode right now Okay, it is just perfectly smooth, no problems here. Okay, let's do the same thing but on small super compressed and we are in the better quality option. I think it's way smoother than on my 16 inch MacBook Pro. It is absolutely perfectly smooth without even pre-rendering, that's crazy. I placed 4K videos next to each other and you can see frame drops, but it's still doable. Only with 7 videos MacBook reached the limit. This is 7 24GB uncompressed 4K videos. In my opinion this is total madness. And we also in better quality mode. Now let's do the same test with the super compressed video. Okay, two videos seems alright. Now let's try three. And I believe this is the limit. By the way, we're in better quality mode. This is crazy only because powerful laptops cannot handle even one video like this. Now we will take uncompressed video and we will apply as many filters as we can. The whole point is just to see when laptop will give up. On 5 filters we'll start to see little frame drops. Only on 9 filters it start being a little bit more slower. But I can say this is absolutely fine, I can work with this. Ok, on 13 filters we start to see even bigger frame drops. And only on 18 filters playback start being painfully slow. 18 very heavy filters by the way. We are in better quality mode and I noticed something interesting about this processor. It's still painfully slow when you are playing the video, but once you stop playing it, timeline is smooth and responsive. And now we have 72 filters on 4 4K 24GB videos, none of previous laptops would be able to do this at all. Now let's do the same test on super compressed video. 
with just added noise it's still fine. We have little slowdown but not very significant. At 5 filters we have little frame drops. But timeline still very responsive. At 12 filters we have serious frame drops, but I would say it's still fine. Bear in mind we still had better quality and no pre-rendering. And we lost only 9% of battery life so far. And we started this test almost 30 minutes ago. I think we reached the limit of laptop again. 13 heavy filters on highly compressed video, this is crazy. And as I mentioned before, timeline is perfectly smooth. Now let's render highly compressed one in H.264. With all those filters it took only 9 minutes and 17 seconds. And now let's do exactly the same thing but with uncompressed one. With the same amount of filters it took 12 minutes and 57 seconds. M1 MacBook Air is one hell of a device, it is even scary when you think about what it will be able to do once Apple optimizes it. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one, пока!